Hello friends! In this episode I'm going to show you how to create a simple UI component in Magenta 2. We're going to render it on storefront, on a home page, and for this we're going to create a fully functional Magenta 2 module. My name is Max Pronko and you're watching Magenta Dev Channel. Let's create our module. We will call this module UI component. And it's going to be located under app code Pronko UI component directory. First file we have to create is uh, registration PHP. And we can find an example in one of Magento 2 modules. And here we have to say component A. Ronco UI component. Second required file is, is module XML and this file is located under etc directory. And this file should contain module name and setup version. Then we have to go and enable our module by running bin magenta module enable command and name of our module. Once we successfully enable the module, we have to run bin magenta setup upgrade. So it will be successfully installed into Magento 2 application. All right. So since we're going to create UI component under front end, on storefront on uh, one of pages like a uh, home page we have to create a layout view front end in view front end layout directory we will create default xml file and in this file we are going to put we are going to add uh, our PHTML template where we will put initialization of our UI component. So here we will say reference container and we want to add to content and block. We will add block with with class name magento framework view template element template class name we will call this block as ronco.ui component and template is going to be ronco ui component script PHTML. So our expectation is to add script.phtml by using this uh, template class from Magento framework into the content container. Next step is to create template and this template should be under templates directory. script.html file in this template we will add some markup for example I will add parent uh, tag and we'll say data bind 
for data bind argument, we have to say which component is going to be responsible for rendering part of this template. And as an example, I will put h2 tag and we'll say data bind and we'll add uh, title. So title is going to be rendered from our uh, JavaScript component. As we can see, we are not adding anything into H2 because we would like to render everything from uh, our newly created component. Next step is going to be adding declaration for our uh, component, UI component. And for this, for example, if we want to add uh, configuration of our component into template file, script.phtml, we have to use uh, script x magenta init text x magenta init uh, where this part you can find in in magenta in, in magenta modules so basically app.js file is responsible for all components initialization and here we are going to uh, under component section we are going to add our new component and this component name which we are using as you, as you see Bronco component should be exactly same as the scope which we have here when JS core app will initialize our Bronco component uh, it will map it will apply bindings uh, to this uh, HTML tag And the configuration for our component. So in order to initialize our component, we have to provide a path to a JavaScript uh, file where we will declare or where we will create our component. And also I would like to add title and this title is going to be used uh, during rendering for this h2 tag for data bind so once a uh, component will be initialized it will provide a value which we um, have in uh, json configuration of our component so the next step is to create JavaScript component and this file should have name component.js as you can see we have uh, some convention js forward slash component and here we have under web directory frontend web we have js directory and component.js file in this file we are going to use uh, define to add dependency and the very simple component from a UI library we can use is a UI element so we will pass it as a argument with name component and the only line we have to write is return this component and call extend function so it will create uh, our new component it will extend uh, existing component and will create a new prototype of a class uh, called element so that's it from a code point of view let's let's clean up static and cache and let's check front end part
so our expectation is that we will see our ren rendered component with hello world. Let's refresh a page. And as you can see, we have new element on a page, uh, h2 tag, and our component has been successfully initialized and provided a value of hello world into title variable. If you have any questions regarding UI components, Magenta 2 in, in general, feel free to leave a comment below or find me on social. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. See you. Bye.